What's up guys, Baker here, another tutorial, just like always. Uh, gonna be going over some audio synced uh, bars, waveform, spectrum thing, I don't know what to call it. But this is basically what I'm gonna be showing you guys. So I use this in uh, Thrill Cam's edit and uh, Dar's edit, it's pretty, pretty fun to use. And, uh, <clears throat> again, I used this little beat I made. Uh, pretty simple. So let's get straight into it. Uh, basically, you're going to want to have a clip that is uh, essentially not moving would be easiest. But, because um, we're just going to do some, like, hand tracking. We're not going to do any special motion tracking. Um, you could, but it's too hard. Well, for now. So, basically, I got this clip, right? And um, it's, uh, it's synced and all that stuff, and then I just have some Twixter, so it's uh, pretty slow. So that'll make it easy to use. And I just got a little bit of uh, color correction, and if you want this, go ahead and check out the color correction giveaway. But let's go ahead and create a new solid, and we'll call this the uh, audio waveform. And uh, you want to do this, put it underneath your color correction. You want to uh, <clears throat> do this in your final comp because you want to have your uh, like your main montage song in the same composition as this solid. So this is gonna need to be like outside of everything with uh, with all your clips being brought together. So we'll go to Effect Generate Audio Spectrum and turn it back on. And we get this cool little dot thingy. So let's uh, set the audio layer to our beat. And uh, let me just solo it really quick. And this is kind of what we get. So that's that's not too bad. So first thing I'm going to do is push U for the clip and see where the Twixer starts. And I'm going to set a keyframe for the start and end point. And then just kind of line it up with this uh, piece of wood over here. And I'm just going to move forward just a little bit. You know, kind of fix it. And then move forward again, fix it again. This is just a little bit of hand tracking, so be as precise as you want. I'm just gonna, you know, let's see how that looks. Eh, it's not too bad, but you you guys kind of get the idea, right? So um, I'll also start at the Twixter and then just trim the clip, or actually we can just fade it in too. So T for opacity. Uh, stopwatch, move forward a few frames, and so we'll just kind of fade on. Okay, so uh, let's get into the settings here. So we got the start and end frequency. So the bottom is all the low notes, and the uh, the high, the top is all the high notes. And uh, I kind of want it to go to the kick again. So I'll just decrease the end frequency, which will. Uh, go from a low note to like a middle note. So I bring this down to about I don't know, 500. So you can see the waveforms are a little less choppy. It's like a more more thick. That's what I want. And uh, we can change the side options to side A. So we only get the left side. And uh, we can also change the colors, make it like a nice, uh, what I use, like a yellow orange. And like a yellow and we can set this to add, make it blend a little nicer. Um, it's a little, little tiny, so we can change the maximum height. A bunch of settings you can use. So, got that. That's a little too much, maybe like 1500. Um, frequency bands, that changes how many there are. So you can have it really thick. You can have it not as thick. Um, there's a little offset in case you're... Uh, Video is a little laggy. Uh, thickness, softness, I turn that up. Um, yeah, that's about it. You can also change the uh, the style to like analog lines. That's kind of cool. I use that. Or uh, I've been looking at that actually. So let's just kind of let me turn on a color correction too as well. I forgot about that. Oh, and one more setting. Hue interpolation. This gets like a rainbow effect going on. So in case you want some rainbows, you know, 
that out. So uh, let's just RAM preview really quick, and that's about it. I mean, audio spectrum, keyframe the start and end positions, uh, mess with your own settings to get what you want. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, makes it look like you uh, spent a lot of time editing when uh, everyone knows you didn't because it's uh, pretty easy once you know all the secrets <clears throat> yep and uh, while we're waiting go ahead and check out my uh, second channel Baker's Tuts not Tits Tuts um, yeah don't know why I made that joke but I did so I'm gonna shut up now so we can watch this <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, that's about it. Like the video, guys, and uh, you might get a free prize or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, I think I'm done talking. Go check out these other tutorials, maybe. And uh, if you do an edit with this, set it as a video response or send it as a message, and I'll check it out. And have fun, you guys. Thanks.